now it's fine uh i've contacted the broker saying there must be a mistake they told me that there is no mistake brur you lost money you increased your lot size and you lost money and now i had to come come to life i had to slowly come back to reality that fuck my mother's 20,000 is gone even though she knows that 15,000 was supposed to to be for for school fees the other 5,000 i just scammed her so that i can take my girlfriend on a vacation and don't you guys act like saints you've lied to your family members taking girls out with their money so i'm not the first guy to do this now i had to come to reality now i was going through depression right i was going through depression that you know what my life is fucked guys the varsity has taken me back they've given me a last chance and shit i'm seeing shit like it's fucked up now the only thing that's still going well in my life is my relationship but everything else is is fucked everything nothing is going my way what should I do? What must I do in this case? You know? And I told myself that, you know what? I'm going to take a break from trading. I'm going to trade to take a break from trading. So I took one week break without thinking about Forex or touching, up, uh, touching anything related to Forex. You know? I took about a week, you know? And the reason why this thing used to eat me a lot is was because... My, my 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 friend my best friend the one who introduced me to to forex he didn't know what i was going through i didn't tell anybody about it even my roommate didn't know that i was uh, going through depression you know it was it was more like it was a secret i was actually hiding it that i'm actually uh, going through a, a depression of some sort you know so people were unable to detect now as i'm thinking that okay um my birthday is next month right at that time i was born on the 17th of may and i'm talking about incidents which were happening in april during the progress of april and as i will be birthday next month uh you know what i i need to bring back my money so i want people to understand after losing my fifteen thousand, which was meant for school fees which my parents believed or I paid school fees at that time. I decided that, you know what, now I'm going to go back to Forex. I'm going to go back to Forex. But this time, I'm going back for knowledge, number one. This time, I'm going back to get my 15,000 back. That was my spirit at that time, you know. And at that time, I've... I've, I, I was desperately, I've desperately wanted to attend uh, Forex uh, classes, you know, from one of the, from any of the guys who were on top at that time, you know, but problem was attend classes using which money? Because one thing I know for sure is that those guys were not going to make me rich, but they were going to give me the knowledge that I need. I can only make myself rich. You can only make yourself rich. Nobody's going to make you rich. So that's how I started developing the concept run after knowledge first and then money will follow you. So that was me running after knowledge knowing that my 15,000 will follow me after. So I've sat down and I said, you know what? What do I have? What do I have on the table? Now I need to, to do research about Forex. I need to understand... Uh, what I'm trading. Remember, at that time, people like Wo Sizwe Dlomo and these people who are talking nonsense about me or us as traders, they were not there. They are never there. When you're alone, they are never there. They come only after you make it. You know, I was alone. I remember. Now, uh, I wanted to talk to my girl about it. So I tried talking to her about it. And the words that came out of her mouth was that this thing of yours is a scam you know this thing of yours doesn't exist there's no way you can make money on the phone so you need to stand up and go work like other men and we had a disagreement 
there i'm like ah this thing is working uh, i can show you people who have made it in this thing and she repeated her words this thing is a scam and i'm like okay fine it's a scam sharp i stopped talking to her about it from that moment you see that's how i was if i know you are negative when it comes to the ideas or the hustling that i have i'm gonna cut you out of it so i've cut her out of talking to her about forex you know of which i know there are guys right now who who are going through uh who are going through what i was going through you know your your, your partner doesn't support you in this trading thing but funny enough make money you will see the true colors of women but at that time it's fine so i started doing research the first thing was was to go on google you know what is forex market you know may, may just maybe if i have i have asked google that question first just maybe i wouldn't have lost my money so i was starting to blame myself you know that why didn't i do research about this thing so i found out what well, forex is just commonly a a a, a an online market to put it in in that sense whereby you buy you buy and sell currencies foreign ex currencies to be precise a comparison of different countries who are fighting for power in a way more like american sa they're actually fighting which currency has more value than the other of which america uh, which is us dollar has more value than us so i found out about such things i didn't know and the second question i asked myself was that is forex legit and then i found my answers there uh, google told me that forex is legit and then i asked myself why so as i was reading more about it i found out Hori, banks you see banks that are trading forex so how can something that's being traded by banks be a scam you know so I, I started developing interest. I'm like, okay, this thing is better than Pipcoin. This thing is better than Triple M. Because even banks are doing it. You know? And when I'm saying banks, I'm not referring to the small banks that you know. I'm talking about city banks. City bank, I mean. I'm talking about a Swiss bank. I'm talking about Butlays. You see Butlays? Uh, Butler's English Premier Soccer League or something like that. That one which has won Manchester United. The name, the term Butler's, I'm talking about that one. Butler's Bank. They're into Forex. I'm like, okay, so if big banks, they're into Forex, then it means that I'm on the right path. Then as I continued investigating, I found out that now this one was a selling point. This one was a selling point to me. I found out that foreign exchange market is actually in the bible like the bible that you know forex is in the bible now that one was a selling point you see from that moment and onwards i didn't need my girlfriend to convince me that uh, forex is for real i didn't need my parents to convince me that forex is for i didn't need anybody a celebrity or anyone for as long as it's in the bible for as long as it's in the bible it's there in the Bible. The letter. The letter for Forex. Remember, Bible has different versions, right? The letter for Forex is Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 1 to 6. It states that invest your money in foreign exchange. Because one of these days you'll make profit, right? When you make profit, invest your profit in several places. Because you can never know the kind of bad luck you will have in this world. From after reading that, that, that verse, I was actually reading it from, from Google, right? Before I could see it from a real Bible. Therefore, you are coming to me now as a celebrity. You think you know it all and you are telling me that Forex is a scam. Fuck you. You are coming to me as an individual. You are telling me that Forex is a scam. Fuck you. Fuck everyone who is saying Forex is a scam because it's in the Bible. That shit is in the Bible, dog. Say, put it correctly and say forex traders and not all certain forex traders are scammers then i will agree with you don't say forex is a scam there we will fight you and i will fight 
and I will bring Jesus in the fight. It means that you will be fighting against me and Jesus now. Because I believe God was not stupid when he put it in the Bible. Right? It's in the Bible. So if you are saying that Forex, that's in the Bible, is a scam. Scam gum mao. Agan it scam gum mao. Agan yako bujamaka. Urengi. It's a scam when it's in the Bible. Scam gum mao. Scam gum tiketatao. Scam is your mother in case you are in an international land. Scam is your father. Because this thing is a Bible. Rather say, certain Forex traders are scammers. Therefore, I won't argue with you because you have your reasons. Right? So that's how I got to develop this passion for trading. You know, that's why even today, nobody can ever tell me anything that's going to make me leave the industry. Nobody. You can bring them one by one, billionaires, trillionaires, employees, one, no one. It's in the Bible. In the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen, please? Can I get an amen in the name of Jesus? Now, the first step was that I needed to trade. You know, I, I, I needed to trade. I needed to trade. That was the first step. But now, how do I trade without having money? Now, I, I, I needed capital to trade. So my, my business for fixing computers at that time was not going well. You know, my business for fixing computers at that time was not uh, going well. So I was not able to make money that, that much in terms of fixing computers. It's like I fixed all the computers which were sick at that time. So I needed to make money. So the only person who was going to assist me was my mother. So what I did, I, I gave my mom a call, you know. I'm like, mommy, she's like, yes. Uh, remember when I, I made you join uh, Triple M and sorry, our money got lost and all that. She's like, yes, I remember. I want nothing to do with those things. I'm like, now I found this other one. And then she says, Hopoto, I'm tired of your, your, your things. I'm tired of your scams. Please focus on graduating, focus on studying and leave these things. That time, mommy didn't understand that I was not studying. I was there on the system as a student, but I was not studying, you know. So I'm like, mommy, please give me some money so that I can learn how to trade this thing. Even 500 is fine. She said, no, I'm not going to give you anything. So focus on school. And I'm like, okay, mommy. So after that call, I'm like, you see, this woman doesn't know me. You see, this woman doesn't know me. I will show her. A week passed. I called her. Mommy, uh, there's a camp. Uh, there's a camp at school. We need 1.5. You see, uh, we need to borrow and hire this tent. We're going in a camp. It's important. Companies will be coming uh, so that we can learn more about the kind of job we'll be doing the following year. And then, you see, that's when I noticed that my, my mother had money, né? but she had money for certain things. Whenever I would mention school, she would give me money. But if I say I don't have clothes, I don't have shoes, I don't have a cell phone, she says she doesn't have money. Whenever I say school, she has money. So I, I noticed that, oh, if I say I want to buy this, you don't have money. But if I say school, you have money, I will deal with you. I will deal with you accordingly. Mommy, I need to go to a camp 1.5. She sent it. I took the 1.5. I deposited it into Forex. Now, keep in mind, I only know the theory about for Forex. I don't really know what I'm doing. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing. Now, I traded. I traded during the progress of uh, May. I was trading low-key. Low-key. Betwell didn't know I was trading. Kuto didn't know. Fosh didn't know. All the FBK guys that I was with at that time didn't know that I was trading. Even my best friend didn't know that I was trading. I was, tra I was making everything a secret, which is the trick with success. If you want to be successful, keep your plans secret. The only reason now I can come to the live right now and say, hey, people, I'm thinking of going to, to, to buy a car tomorrow. Which car can I buy? And then even if you can pray to your Satan and say, let coach not buy a car. There is nothing you can do. You are too late. 
You can't stop me now. I've made it. I'm beyond your level now. You can't stop me. But if you haven't made it, it's very important that you keep your plans very private. When you make it, it's impossible for people to stop you. Now, the, I believe I'm a living proof. How long have you been seeing people talk nonsense about me, per se, from Twitter? How long have you seen... Just uh, not long ago, I, I just got another car. Just not... They are talking. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my things. My life goes on. How long have you heard things about me? They are talking. I'm still... My life goes on. You see, it's because I've made it. You can't stop me where else you didn't make me. Only God can stop me because he's the one who has made me. Right? Keep your plans private until you have made it. When you are successful... Whether they know or not, there is nothing a witch, any witch. I know witches are watching. Any witch, there is no witch we can, which can stop you. Now, I've kept it a secret. Because I knew if I told anybody that I'm trading, they would give me negativity. Trading is a scam and eventually you will you'll end up believing that. You know, From that point onwards, I stopped listening to poor people. Hi, Gabi. Hi, Gabi, ne? Not in a bad way. Hi, Gabi, not in a bad way. But from that point onwards, I stopped looking, listening to poor people. Poor people's mentalities, it's like they are poor as well, you know? So I knew if I told my surroundings, because they were poor just like me, they were going to tell me that it's a scam. So that's why it's very important that you must keep your things private. Unfortunately, when you are selling herbal life, you can't keep it private. But if it was possible, you were supposed to keep it private. Because once you tell us that you are selling herbal life, we are going to tell you, I'm one of them. I'm going to tell you that, I herbal life doesn't work. Herbal life doesn't work. But the truth of the matter is I know nothing about herbal life. And if you listen to me, you'll end up giving up on selling herbal life. You know, unfortunately, it's said that you can't keep that a secret. But with Forex, you can keep it a secret that you're trading. People will not be aware that you're trading. Now, I, 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 I've, I've traded with the $100 that uh, was supposed to be a campy money, and I've lost it eventually. Né? But here's the thing. When I was losing it, I was actually having a book whereby I was making notes. I was making notes. Like, per movement, I was writing it down. I was, it's like I was crazy. It's like I was crazy writing it down, writing it down. Now, my girlfriend noticed that I'm actually fading away from the relationship. I'm no longer as committed as I used to be. There's this thing that I'm busy with, but she doesn't know what is it, what is it that I'm busy with. And at that time, I couldn't tell her that I'm trading Forex because she was going to tell me to stop trading. Then I stopped trading. Then I become an employee like her. Fuck no. I, I was not born to look at other people uh, perish and get successful in life. No. I was born to be a leader. That I am today. I was born to be a winner. I was born to make my dreams come true. I was not born to work for anyone. Next. So I was like, you see, this one. This one, want, this one wants me to be an employee. I'm not going that route. But at the same time, I didn't have a choice. Because even if I wanted to become an employee, it was impossible because I was failing at school. So I had no choice but to keep on doing what I was doing. I had no choice. Now, I have blown the $100. And after blowing, uh, I, I, I called my mom again. I'm like, Mommy, I don't have food anymore. Please give me 300 Gives She gives me 300 I take the 300 Back to Forex again. I trade, I trade, I trade. Now, the only good thing that I was doing at that time was that I was applying risk management, even though I would lose in the long run, eh? but it was no longer as immediate as it used to be before. So there was a balance. So I would blow the 300 rent. And after that, I kept on asking my mom for more money, you know, throughout the rest of April. On my birthday, she gave me 1000. Uh, I only spent 100 rent. I, I bought a cake from ShopRite and two two liters. You, you see, there is this two liter which is called Kingsley. It used to be my favorite. Now I don't want to see that thing. Kingsley, I bought Kingsley. We celebrated my birthday uh, at that time. The rest of the money, about 900, I've deposited it into Forex. And I still lost. 
Now, every journey, every journey, I was losing, yes, but I was learning. And on every journey, I was alone. I'm going to emphasize that. I was alone. Now, I knew that at some point, I have to make a sacrifice. If, if, if I want to be successful, I need to start thinking differently. I need to start behaving differently. I can't do the same things which everyone is doing. I need to be different, you know. And from that moment onwards, when we were approaching uh, June, now uh, my relationship, it was still okay. But then again, there was a problem in my relationship. It was okay, but there was a problem. So because my girlfriend has taken me as that guy who's useless, you know, when, you're, when your girlfriend knows, Hori, my boyfriend is useless and... It's fine. I love him the way he is. So she knew I was useless, right? And she was starting to be friends with this guy, you know? Uh, this guy, they were studying together. This guy was teaching her some of the things from school and all that. And I used to get jealous, you know? I'm like, ay, ay, ay. you see, this is how I'm going to start losing my woman. My plans are not working and so forth. Nothing was just going my way, you know. So this girl, after she started uh, spending time with this guy, her mentality started changing. Now, gents, here's the truth, man. Never, never let your girlfriend be friends with someone who's better than you. Free advice, gents. You must never let your girlfriend be better, be friends with someone who is better than you. Because women observe, once she's there, she's going to get to see how stupid you are. She's going to get to see how useless you are. She's going to get to see that you don't have a future, actually. You see? So if you hear your, 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 your girlfriend saying, yo, I'm friends with a forex trader, hey, Mjita, end that relationship. Her and that forex trader, they must stop talking immediately. Because that girl, she's going to see a, a better somebody than you. I get when I, you, you, you're oppressed. You can't think. I get, I get when I, you, you're following the system like this. You're doing what, what, what our parents were doing. You can't think out of the box. Your girlfriend will meet people who can think out of the box. That's what happened to me. So she met a guy who thinks out of the box, you know. Because whenever we are together, 90% of the time, she would talk about the guy uh, not being aware herself. For example, I say, yo, there's this what, 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 what I've seen. Yo, she would say, yeah, I've heard this guy tell me about it. Like everything in our relationship was starting to be about this guy. And then I was curious what is it that this guy has that I don't have? When I investigated, I noticed oh, this guy is smart. But he's smart when it comes to school. Now I'm smart when it comes to the streets. So basically, I'm street smart. He's profession smart. So this guy was filling my girlfriend with ideas about the future. Uh, that when they graduate, they need to find this type of a job. They need to find this type of a house. They need to buy this type of a car. You know, such things, you know. And at the same time, you know how girls are. So most of the time, my girlfriend would ask me that, babe, let's go out. And then I will say, babe, I don't have money. Then she'll say, Hopoto, I don't want your money. I know you don't have money. I'm saying, let's go out. Let's just take a walk. Let's walk to the mall. You, I know you can't afford a taxi. You can't afford a venture. A venture Funny enough, now I'm driving a G63, which is the same as a venture. Hey, life is not fair. Hey? You can't afford a venture. You can't afford transport. I understand. I just want us to work, to work. I mean, it will, it will mean a lot to me. And I would think in my head, I'm like, should I walk with my girl to the mall to make her happy? Or should I stay in my room and investigate 
what is it that moves the forex market so that i can know the right time to trade and the decision forex will always win and i'll tell her that ah babe i can't i'm still working on something now and so forth and she would get disappointed can't he? every time whenever she proposes that we should do something the same thing that she's proposing she's already doing it with another guy the same guy they would go to the mall holding hands the same things that she wanted from me i was not doing that because i was committed to hustling you know and they would buy us ice cream eat together spend more time so that's all she ever wanted from me you know uh by me saying so i'm trying to sh tell you guys that lena from my side i'm not perfect right i had my flaws lena she's not perfect i'm also not perfect you know we have both had our flaws and so on you know so uh, she would do all those romantic things with the guy but they were not dating uh but slowly obviously when a guy does that Vele, he wants the girl. I knew that motherfucker wanted my girlfriend. And there's nothing I can do about it. You know? And constantly would fight about me not having a future. She would force me to go to school. You know? I was actually lucky to have such a girlfriend who would force me to go to school. She would force me. And I would say, no. No, I'm not going to school. You know? And on the other hand, that guy used to love school. So it's like this girl was in a situation whereby she could see her future and her present. Her present was me, useless. Her future had much brighter hope. So she was weighing all her options. You know, I usually see a post on Twitter saying that a girl can dump you before you even know. Meaning that a woman is capable of being in a relationship yet still the relationship is over. Yena, she has dumped you. It's only a matter of letting you know. So I think from June 2016, I was in that situation whereby I was dumped, but I didn't know. Sharp. When it comes to, to, to school recess, uh, uh, June holidays, school June holidays, uh, the schools were closed and all that after our exams. I've written my exams, but I didn't care about exams. Uh, on multiple choice, I would write paragraphs. I was not writing to pass, actually. I didn't care about school anymore. Uh, when it's time to go home, she would say, babe, let's go home. And I would say, yo, baby, I'm sorry, I can't go home. And she would get mad that I'm not going home. At the same time, that other nigger was going home with her. In the same taxi. You know, I was going through a lot of people. Yo, I, I, I. So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, I'm not going home because I need to study further about this trading thing. And then my girl is going home with that guy that I don't like. And here's the thing. She used to tell me each and everything about that guy because she didn't know that I had a problem with the guy. I was just, I had a, a problem which I never really told her about, you know. Shapo, she went home with that guy. She told me she arrived safely. Now, the reason, the main reason why I didn't go home during June. Now, that is the season which I, 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 I told you guys that I was actually, uh, I didn't have food. And I, 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 I cooked one piece of chicken for almost like six days or plus, you know, that's, that's, that's how it started. So during recess, I told myself that I will not go home. Reason being that if I go home, I will not be as committed as I was because you know how it is at home. When you go home, they will send you there and there. You won't really have privacy, you know. They will only welcome you when you first arrive. But the following day, you start doing uh, those normal household chores. I hated that. So I told myself that I'm going to sacrifice going home so that I can learn about trading, so that I can learn about Forex market in general. Now, it's fine. Everybody went home. It was only me and the caretaker. Now, I called my mom and I asked for money so that she, I can buy grocer. She gave me 500. I, I just lied to her saying that uh, there are practicals that I need to do. That's why I'm not coming home. Because she was not interested in knowing uh, about Forex. 
And it's funny how today she's even the one calling me saying, son, did you trade today? I'm like, no, mommy. She's like, okay, it's fine. But back then she didn't want anything to do with Forex. You see these parents, these parents are not loyal. I, so I was left with my caretaker at the student accommodation. So mommy gave me money to buy a few grocery. So I didn't buy grocery. I put all the money in Forex and I lost it again. So it's like, that's why when people ask me, how many accounts have you blown? I've lost count, you know, I've lost count. So I've, 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 I've blown the account, you know, I've lost again. Now, I don't have food anymore, you see. And the caretaker and I didn't get along, right? So the caretaker was, he was that type of a guy who would actually cook six pieces of chicken and eat alone me on the other hand i didn't have anything to eat the reason why we didn't get along it was because of this he wanted my girlfriend but i didn't know about it so the girl rejected him for me so ever since that he didn't like me so even when i was hungry there was no way i could go to the guy and say ah bruraka uh, please give me uh, one piece of chicken or at least borrow me i will bring it tomorrow after eating you see i didn't have the nerve because he was not gonna give me he didn't like me so i had to make a plan i had like a week to survive you know before uh, people could actually come back when i checked the fridge i was left with the photo is still there on social media the photo is still there. If Even on my timeline, it's still there. The photo whereby I was sitting down. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if it's the exact photo. No, it's not the one. But yeah, the situation was similar to that. I was left with one piece of chicken, right? And I have a minestrone. You know minestrone soup? I had raja. I had mayonnaise. I had tomato sauce. I had rice. That's stage one starter pack, complete. I don't need anything. But now the problem is that if I cook the chicken and I eat the chicken, the following day I'm going to see shit because I don't have money. I've already blown the account with the money that I was supposed to use to buy grocery. And family members are useless as well. You can't call any uncle and say, uncle, give me money. We are all broke, you know? It's fine. Uh, I, I came up with a plan that, okay, I'm going to cook the chicken. When I cook the chicken, I'm going to put in my strong soup inside. And then I'm going to cook rice. There was enough rice. Then when it's time to dish up, I dish up the rice. I put in mayonnaise. I put in tomato sauce. Uh, tomato sauce, I'm referring to tomato sauce, by the way. My, mayonnaise, I'm referring to mayonnaise. I put tomato sauce. I put, I put mayonnaise. Then, instead of putting the meat, I put in the soup only. You see, fact remains. For as long as the, the soup was made while the meat is rotating inside the, the, the pot, that simply means that the soup will come out with the spirit of the meat. Meaning that more or less, it, it's, it's your belief. I believe that the soup is actually the meat. So I was eating the soup well. Morning evening same meal following day because now that piece of chicken has already been cooked what i do is that i just cook rice from scratch and i now put in more soup inside that piece of chicken and now coming to think of it now it sounds impossible it sounds funny because it was not you in that situation right you think it's a joke <laughs> it's, it's 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 good it's it's it's, it's fine uh, it's fine so I would warm up everything. I would dish up the same way. Day three, same spirit. Now, the only day which I ate the piece of chicken was when I knew that, okay, now I will be going home. You know, the last day, Vela, ah, last day I ate, I cooked, I put in soup again in the pot. I cooked, I cooked, I cooked. Now I ate even the piece of chicken. Uh, even today, people still think this is a joke. Ah. Uh, it's fine continue thinking that way because it was not you in that situation right so obviously when i was eating the piece of chicken it was no longer nice because it has been recooked 
almost five times or six times. It was no longer nice. So after that, I went home for like a weekend. Then the following week uh, on a Wednesday, I think schools were coming back. So summer I came back with everyone, you know. But during that progress, whereby I was eating uh, one piece of chicken, I've had a purpose to live. I've had a purpose to push. You know, I've had a purpose. I've had a reason to even push further. I've had a reason to push beyond my limits, you know. And I felt like that was me reaching the final stage of poverty. Only to find out that more is still to come. More is still to come, you know. So when we came back, well, uh, July started. People were going back to school and so forth. I was not interested in going back to school because I knew I was failing either way. It's the same. Hwatana. Now, my success actually started from July. Now, from July, uh, because obviously when I came back, uh, they gave me money for Groza. So I took that money for Groza again. You see, if there's one thing that I, I'm all about is that I, I think I have a problem of learning. I think I don't learn. After losing so many times, they give me money to buy Groza when, we, when I go back on campus. I still take the money and put it on the forex market. I gain. I don't know what was going on with me. But I think that happens when you have this passion for success. And people will never understand. So I put in money. Uh, luckily, when people are back at the house, there's no way I can sleep hungry. Because I can go around asking for food. They, they knew me as, as a comedian in the house. So I was that type of a guy who, when everybody goes to school, when they come back, they come to my room to get comedy. You know, I used to entertain everyone in the house, tell them jokes. So even when I ask for food, it was okay. You know, it's hopoto, it's very funny. Girls used to like me for that. Now I was, I was, I was, I was trading, I was pushing. Then I, I, I started learning that forex market depends on fundamental more than technical now i started doing research i'm like what is it that moves the market during this certain time so based on the experience that i've seen there were this long movement that i didn't know how to explain them so i found out that there is what we call fundamental trading right and i didn't have experience about it so I needed to find motivation. I went on Facebook and then I searched, uh, I searched for Ref Wayne. Uh, I watched his videos. He was, he was showing a uh, trading NFP fundamental. So he would make a lot of money in just seconds. And I'm like, oh, so this guy is trading this thing. Now I needed to find out when does the market move that way? That was my next move, right? So I went back to my notebook. I investigated. I found that there's fundamental analysis. There's technical analysis. Technical analysis is whereby, is what I was doing actually. Looking at the market and analyzing, thinking or deciding on behalf of the market, where do you think the market is going to go? Which is precisely nonsense. Then fundamental on the other side, it's facts. It's a fact. It's not something that we can discuss. It's not your opinion. It's not anyone's opinion. It's a fact. If they say the market is going down, it's going down. If the market is going up, it's going down. It's a fact. It's not, it's not an analysis. It's not about what I think. It's not about what you think. Fundamentally, it's a fact. So I found out the effect. I googled and I found out this NFP. Then I started learning about them. You see, I wish... Traders who joined Forex now had the same passion as me back in the days. Because these Forex niggas now, they are lazy. They pay for mentorship. Then they try trading two times, three times. Jiggy Jiggy, they are rappers. They are no longer trading. Or Jiggy Jiggy, they are saying, ah, this thing is not working. After failing, you know, they are not even making extra efforts in finding out what is it that moves the market. Most of them, they only found out from me that Forex is in the Bible. They didn't even care. 
Hey, Mara, at the same time, they say they want to be successful. I, I don't understand this forest boys. Sharp. I found out about that. And then at the same time, I've looked at uh, Prince Marib Mazibugu's trades as well. Uh, he was making a lot of money. But with him, I didn't know which method was he using. Because he was trading gold at that time. Uh, I didn't really know what was going on. But I would, I would analyze. I would, whenever he would buy, I would buy with him. I get a, When a trader posts their results, they, they record a video where else they're on a profit with a buy. And they post it before closing. So if I see that he did not close the trade, I would also enter with that buy. Just to see. And then I would make little profit. But the challenge was that I didn't really understand what is it that he used to trade at that time. You know? Yeah.